Hey everyone, uh, this is the Black Woman Seven here, and today I'll be going over uh, recent Pokemon news that uh, which came about the other day. And to be honest, I wasn't gonna cover this at first because, to be frank, I haven't been covering us uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, news and topics for a while now. But this one kind of it piqued my interest because, uh, as you see in the title, thumbnail and whatnot, it's not clickbait; it's real. Uh, basically, we got a uh, new uh, Gigantamax form. So, I'm gonna be talking about these Pokemon from a more kind of like a well, not a full competitive analysis, but just giving my thoughts here and there. So, yeah, uh, that's all I have to say. So, so early, uh, like I believe, like yesterday, last night, um, we got like I think it was like late last night. Um, we got confirmation of Gigantamax forms for Pikachu, Charizard, Eevee, Meowth, and uh, Butterfree. So now before everyone just comments on all the goofiness and the weird, like, oh my god, I can't tell pandering and whatnot, like, let's be real. They're always, I've kind of accepted it at this point, because... At this point, they've always done some form of homage to Kanto in some in some fashion in every gen. Let's be like, let's be honest, like. So, and I'm not gonna get into that. So, I'm just here, just talking about like you know the Pokemon in general. So, um, so we got that Pikachu once more. Um, we have our Charizard gimmick. I guess you could, I guess we're gonna call it that from now on. So, uh, Eevee got Plupier, Meowth. Just got longer, you know those like memes with the you know the cat those cat like you know memes with like a long at meow for people just like or long cats where people just try to like hold their cats like a long line, and uh that's pretty much it, and we got like a um pretty much uh matra I think fun fact, I think the people who uh make or like I think the directors I don't know. Ooh, but they, the people who like made a uh, Godzilla, kind of have own a or Toho. I think that's their that's the company name. Uh, they now own a portion of Pokemon now, or or it's at least part part of the board of directors. So, I guess that's why they use the inspired Godzilla and Matra inspired themes. So maybe uh, I don't know. Knock on wood, we might get a a, a, Dyna, a Gigantamax Aerodactyl or. I dragon. I mean, I don't know what characters would they be based off of. So that's just some fun speculation. So, but anyways, let's just get into the meat of the video. So, um, let's just talk about Pikachu first off, because Pikachu is really, really chunky, guys. So we don't know the weight, but we know this thing says this. Oh my God, these heights. Statistics are gonna be fun, fun to look at. So, um, as you can see, uh, it gains like a, a significant, a significant like HP boost here. And not gonna lie, it's actually pretty interesting to see that Pikachu gets like a, a very large boost into its uh, HP because normally it has like a low, um, well, excuse me. It has like a very low like number, as you can see here. Um. Like 35. So, yep. Um, like here we also have a right here, but like as you can see with Pikachu's stats, um, like I'm thinking to myself why they're gonna try to Dynamax this guy. And the only other th reason that you would try to Dynamax him is if, which they're probably implying or whatnot, is that you're able to use it with the with the partner Pikachu, which is what they're implying, because as stated from this uh, thing or this message here, you could only get this Pikachu if you play Let's Go Pikachu on your Nintendo Switch, or not like it when you like played it, but more so if you have time, like playtime recorded, you know. Similar to how like in the, I don't know if you guys remember, um, in the, this is like back in Gen Five, <laughs> when like. If you play Pokemon, uh, like, and even Gen 4, but, like, if you play Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, uh, and Palano, 
um, you get access and you have playtime recorded, you can get access to, uh, uh, and you get access to a certain, okay, there's this like app called like, uh, Pokemon Dream Radar. And if you have playtime recorded on any of your games, um, you get access to either, uh, the hidden ability for Holo, Lugia, Giratina, and also Dialga and Palka for Diamond and Pearl respectively. So I guess that's how they're doing it. So, and that's how we're going to get it. So maybe just be a mystery gift. So, um, it's a uh, it's G move or G Max move. It's pretty interesting because uh, essentially it pretty much call it's like spoke star like Crash Surfer or something like that. Like you know, like Blow My Trues uh, Z move, which just paralyzes like all opponents or the opponent, but this case both of targets. And as you can see, they had a point to show that Mudstone got paralyzed. So it's actually a pretty interesting attack if you think about it because uh, having a Pokemon, a ground types get paralyzed is pretty interesting. Like so this could be a good like way to like you know be able to like spread paralysis. However I'm not so sure whether or not you're going to keep this if Starter Pikachu will be viable via like and I'm assuming this is going to be Starter Pikachu or any Pikachu of that sort but um, I'm just wondering whether or not, uh, like, this has to be starter Pikachu, or it could be a different Pikachu, because, like, otherwise you could just use, like, different, you know, G-Max move or Z, or Dynamax moves, uh, whether, you know, what, you know, what the other, like, event Pikachus that you may transport over, so, that's something that I have questions about, so, as you can see, like, um, HP increase right here, pretty much noted from this, uh, thing, so. Um, overall, I'm not so sure whether or not we were able to use uh, Fat Pikachu or or use it's like you know the because here's the thing like I'm wondering whether or not like we're, we can use Partner Pikachu in VGC because obviously like singles doesn't really matter you're gonna use it but in VGC they're really stingy when it comes to like you know what's legal what's not legal so we we'll have to wait and see on that but. If it is uh, the case, then uh, basically I expect uh, Partner Pikachu to be very, very viable because just look at its stats. Or I don't know if it. Oh, starter. Look, it's like like oh, I've been looking at the whole wrong thing the whole time. My apologies. So, um, this is a starter Pikachu basically. If you look at the stats for this and uh, base Pikachu. It's basically like um, higher. So attack is uh, 80, defense is 50, special attack is 75, special defense is 60, and speed is 120. So if this, if you could use like a partner Pikachu, then with the uh, light bulb in Sword and Shield, that's gonna be pretty interesting because it's like having a mini Tapu Koko. If you think about it, because especially the fact that like. Um, we've seen that uh, you could Dynamax with items, with held items. So maybe a Dynamax Pikachu can have access to its like, you know, light bulb, and that could just set up electric terrain and then just, you know, well, this is assuming it's just regular Pikachu, but like us going for the Dynamax. But if it's uh, I think we've seen regular Pikachu with Dynamax, not like Fat Pikachu. So I don't know. So there could be like. Like, there could be some, like, you know, um, differences into whether or not you could, like, you could Dynamax. It's sort of similar to, like, Char, Char X and Char Y, this, and Meal 2, X and Y, and Y, you know, the, these different factors, you know, in this case, you know, the Mega Stones. But, yeah. But it's going to be curious to see whether or not we have a, um, if this Pikachu, in particular, will have access to Light Bulb, or can use it, because... It'll be interesting. It'll, it'll pretty much be a very powerful Pokemon if you think about it. Uh, like, especially in singles play. So, um, that's all I have to say about this guy. Um, it doesn't have access to Double Kick. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna run this, you might as well get a, a viable Hidden Power Ice or Fire, depending on like, or get a mixed one. I mean, just looking at this. Obviously, I don't know if they're gonna keep these moves. Like, you know the. The, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, 
it's a uh, move tutors where it's like it has a uh, but she slash if imagine if it keeps that that's that'd be that would be dumb though and this is basically like what e speed or something and this is basically fly and <laughs> this is just i don't even i don't even know i haven't even played let's go oh yeah i forgot it also learns calm mind now so well, i don't know if they kept it over or if that's a mistake so it's been a while since i used dex uh dex on showdown so Anyways, we'll just move on to the next Pokemon, which is uh, Eevee. And honestly, Eevee, I honestly don't know how viable this thing will be. Because, obviously, okay, it has a 130. As you can see here, it gets like a 50% increase into its uh, HP. So it's like 130, half that plus, half of that's like what, 65 plus 130 is like, well, like 195 so yeah and honestly oh they did mention that you can't evolve these pokemon like this eevee can't evolve and whatnot so if you play records or you'll be able to see a special eevee that can date gigantamax and pokemon sword and shield so basically you could get an eevee that has runaway or adaptability but pretty much you're going to run out of adaptability most of the time for this eevee but if you think about it Adaptability is probably the best, the better of the two, because you pretty much get double stab. And and if you, for those of you who don't know, uh, there's a Pokemon called uh, Porygon Z, which gains, it's pretty much similar to like uh, Eevee, where it has double stab. Well, no, it is, instead of 1.5, it has double like uh, stab, and it's it's very infamous in like the VGC scene, especially, especially in VGC 17 early on, where like, uh, I believe, uh, Seijin, like use like you know one with like a with like i think it's the hyper beam no not the hyper beam but it was scarf hyper beam but then people popularized like different sets of porygon z's you know the uh obviously conversions and also eventually uh the hyper beam which it hits like a nuke instead of like it being 200 power like it's just it's crazy man <laughs> I, oh, I think it's like 200 power and then with step instead of like 1.5 what if it would make it like 300 it would be like 400 so now think about it with dynamax ev being able to use like dynamax moves at like let's say 140 instead of like like that okay let me, let me get a calculator here let me get my phone here so instead of let's say a dynamax move goes for has like 140 total power and it goes for and then with same type of attack bonus uh it's like pretty much 210 like in 10 assuming that's you know you know same type of attack bonus but with this ev you could pretty much get like uh uh two 280 like full power like dynamax move that's like from a 140 so that could be pretty huge because we've seen like like pokemon like porygon z abuse like hyper beam like this to this like z hyper beam and now you could have access to, even though Eevee doesn't have access to Hyper Beam, it does have access to moves like Last Resort and uh, Double Edge. So imagine those moves. We don't know the full power of like you know those type of attacks. At, at best, we've seen like attacks range from like one hundred to one forty. Like I think they double down like the, the power of those moves because you know Z moves and whatnot. So, but yeah, um, honestly, it's G Max move. Uh, G Max Cuddle isn't really as viable because not only like not only like you're facing off like multiple uh, EV, like like the thing is in competitive Pokemon you're likely facing Pokemon legendary Pokemon um with uh that are often generalists so unless you want to get this like a, a male or like a female EV you know take advantage of those like Darien forms then uh. I don't know like it's for like infatuation isn't as you know consistent you know that's pretty much what i'm trying to say here so um just for uh gp i'm gonna show you guys uh what is ev stats like uh partner ev stats just to oh my god <laughs> i can't type today so let's just go like ev does get a little bit more stronger as you can see, um, 
it gets a little bit more of a defense increase. But the thing is, like, unless this thing gets, like, a stat buffs, you know, I don't see Eevee being as viable. I'm thinking it might get it, like, an additional stat buff to what it already has, so... You know, with the from Let's Go, like, Eevee, so... Like, these stats make it, of like, a good tank, but unfortunately you can't abuse, like, your Violite, so yeah. Which sucks, but, you know, it is what it is, so... Um, overall, I don't know if Eevee is going to be as viable. If you're going to get one, you're definitely going to have, have to get it with adaptability. It's the best one. It's the best uh, option for this uh, Eevee, so yeah. Then we have, uh, I believe... Uh... Man, I keep going overshooting. Um, I guess we'll just go through this guy, because um, everyone likes to talk about Charizards, and we got... Charizard number 4, even though we have Mega Charizard X and Mega Charizard Y, this could have been Mega Charizard Z, or G-Max or whatever, so, so G-Max Mega Charizard Z, Let's, we're gonna call it G-Max Mega Charizard Z, so yeah. Um, obviously I think this is probably the worst kept secret from Pokemon, because I mean, we all saw Leon have a Charizard, and it's pretty obvious that this guy is gonna get one, a G-Max form while the other started. I, I'm willing to bet that Game Freak's gonna just, given like what happened with XY, with the, like Charizard getting two Mega Evolutions, that Game Freak's gonna not only like, give Venusaur and Blastoise the boot, like the boot, like no G-Max forms, but it will also like, they won't be in the game at all. I'm willing to bet that's gonna happen. <laughs> just because it's Game Freak and yeah, so. So G-Max Charizard, uh, you have access to Blaze, probably with Solar Power, so that might be interesting to have this, so... Of course, uh, this is sort of details about Charizard. You can see here that it gets a... Uh, I wonder what's a... Uh, 140 divided by 2... Plus... 40... Yeah, that's exactly it, so it's basically like double... It's basically like 50% increase in HP, so yeah. So, it's G-Max move, it's pretty much... Uh, G-Max Wildfire, and for those of you who've seen or have played doubles, uh, this is a very familiar. Uh, this actually has a familiar effect, which uh, for those of you who uh, are familiar with the uh, pledge moves, it's basically that. Pretty much uh, being able to do or inflict damage to anything that isn't a fire type. So, um, um, it's pretty much that incarnate. Like it's like having to use like you know grass and fire pledge which would then turn into a fiery field that like lasts for i don't know how long like maybe four or three turns but at that time like you get chip damage i don't know what the percentage it's been a while since i played that vtc and especially one with like you know like all the pokemon aren't as viable you know as the primals and whatnot but you know but in this case i think charizard's i don't know like, you have to get the massive HP increase, and you might be able to live stone, like, or, like, rock size with Intimidate support, but even then, like, um, like, it's just HP increase, so, um, it's not that as, as much as you think, so, and the thing is, like, like, G-Max, the, th the main concern I have with G-Max Charizard is that I don't think it's gonna have as much of an, a power firepower compared to like uh, a, a regular Dynamax Charizard because if you think about it, Dynamax Charizard sets up Sun, like and always over. If you think about it, think of it this way: Let's say if your opponent just goes for like G Max Water, and you just go for a G Max Fire, I, I, assuming that like they're faster and you're slower, you they set up like Rain and you set up the Sun immediately afterward. So you're pretty much, even though very likely you have to be very careful about setting up like fire, like the sun, if they set up rain. But even if you set up sun, like you're gonna take less, you know, water damage or less damage from the water hit. So it's a very good like. I feel like Dynamax Charizard is gonna be good in that aspect, being able to tank water hits. You know, similar to how like Char Y can take like some water attacks, like. You know how it usually does in the past, like you know, like generations with BGC, like, or like, 
19, I guess, or I don't know. You can disregard, disregard VGC at 16 and 19, but still. Um, <laughs> um, just think about it. Like, like you would rather want to have a like a G Max move that actually sets up Sun for Charizard. If you think about it, and and if it has like flying moves, it could boost the speed of your opponent of your of your team. So you could just have speed control. This I don't know. I'm not so sure if you want to have like a G Max Charizard. Like it, it looks intimidating, yes, but unless he gets a stat raise, which I'm thinking very likely he's gonna get this stat raise. Um, then I don't know. So, that's all I have to say for Charizard. And just for GP, uh, uh, we're gonna show you Charizard. Like, here's Charizard. Um, and here's a Charizard X. And whoa, I went over, I over, overshot it. But mostly Charizard Y. Like, as you can see, I don't, aside the HP increase, I don't know how you're going to, and maybe the item. I think having the item is going to be pretty helpful because at least you have Charty Berry now. Assuming you could use it, you know, maybe like you're too big to use an item like that. But if you could use a Charty Berry, then at least you could take rock hits better. So, but even then, I don't know whether or not like, well, oh yeah, I forgot. This thing also has solar power. So if you uh, like, like think about it this way: if you activate Solar Power with Char Y or Charizard, just Charizard with like Dynamax Fire, because Dynamax Fire would just automatically like get you a Sun Ray boost, even though you might take a little too bit of chip, you have a fifty percent increase in your um like or yeah one point five into your special attack. So basically, you're gonna get I think it would just hit just as hard as Charizard Y, not more. So that's why I'm thinking like Dynamax Charizard just could be better unless they give it like a stat stat boost like you know Char X and Char Y so yeah that's my little ramble if you ask me so next Pokemon we're gonna talk about is Meowth which honestly let's just keep this brief because uh I think they only uh, like they only did this because uh you know <laughs> it's just because the meme itself if you think about it because honestly, let's be honest, outside of the speed and the fact that it has fake out, there isn't really as vi anything viable for me out. Yes, it has that G Max move, which pretty much gives it like what? Well, you have Technician, so you could abuse that, but like, you know, with fake out. But unless this thing gets an attack raise, which I'm thinking it might get, or some like stat buffs, then I don't see uh, like me out being as threatening. Like, even compared to other Dynamax Pokemon. So, yeah. Unless they just make this thing really weird and high powerful hitting and whatnot, so. Okay, so basically, or depending on how strong the G-Max moves are, so. So basically, G-Max go rush confuses both your opponents. It's a single target move, but it target, but it basically, like, uh, makes the opponent, like, confused. Oh, by the way, I do want to emphasize that most of the moves, G-Max moves, are single target. Unless they're specified, but they do cause spread damage or spread status in some cases. So, um, like I said, like there's not really much to say about Meow aside that you just want to get it until January 15, 2020. Wow, it's gonna be 2020, guys. <laughs> that's uh, a <laughs> that's knock on wood on you in terms of life. So, yeah. Um, like I said, there's not really anything interesting. It gets fake out. It gets, uh, I believe, nasty plot. Wait, what? It, does it say like okay, normal type moves? So you don't have to use payday. You can just re return or like fake out. So yeah, I don't know. Like, Meow doesn't have a strong move pool to just abuse that with. So, anyway, so I think we'll just move to the last Pokemon. So I think obviously Meow is probably like the least important. So. Last one is a uh, Gigantamax Butterfree, which, to be honest, it looks pretty elegant. I mean, for a Pokemon that looks like Matra, looks pretty nice. Uh, I always thought that this thing would get a Mega Evolution, but I gotta take a Gigantamax form instead. So, I know, I know, I'm sad. 
but sometimes uh, Game Freak doesn't give you exactly what you want. So, so anyways, uh, we're looking at 33 stats here. And to be honest, I think the biggest problem I, I notice is that, um, well, there's some issues I have with it, but I, I, I think people have talked, I have stated the obvious, like, you know, uh, this thing has basically, uh, uh, a G Max move, which we'll, we'll read. It's pretty much called G Max Befuddle, which pretty much deals damage, but also, like, uh, causes sleep paralysis or poison. So people are already sounding the alarm bells that this is like Dark Void. But I'm not so sure whether it's like a 1 in 3 chance. Or if it's like every Pokemon has a randomized chance of being put to sleep, poison, or paralysis. Obviously two of those conditions are really pretty shitty if you think about it. Because being paralyzed is never a good thing. And doubles, and especially in sleep. Sleep could just put you... It gives you... Like, the thing is, this thing could just basically, like, break Sleep Claws in a weird way, so... Yeah. And it might just... It might just be a little bit broken on that side, but even then, like... Unless Butterfree gets the stat increases, I really don't know if this thing would be viable. Uh, of course, in doubles, it will have some use. Um, because I know of a guy named, uh, That's Plus One, where he used, uh... Rage Powder, Tailwind, uh... Butterfree. I know this because I faced him in the finals before. Oh, oh yeah, he's gonna know that for sure. <laughs> um, so, I thinking about the Butterfree set, you probably want to have Bug Buzz, Rage Powder, Tailwind. It's actually one of the few Pokemon that can learn Tailwind, and especially be useful in a format where there likely won't be any uh, move tutors for a while. So yeah, um, it does have access to Tinted Lens. So, so basically. Like, Pokemon attacks that aren't very effective will deal double damage, so maybe you want to take advantage of that instead of Compound Eyes. So, that's something to, like, to keep in mind, so. Uh, if you're wanting to, like, abuse, like, a more offensive Butterfree, if you think about it, so. Um, unfortunately, it's not like Bibion, or where it has, it doesn't have Hurricane. Because if this thing hit, did have Hurricane, then it would abuse, it, this thing could be pretty strong, if you ask me. Pretty much being able to hurric like boost up its speed. So like even max Dynamax like Dynamax uh or Max uh, Air Slash should be able to like give your your yourself some speed. So because I think one problem that uh that like uh, that Gigantamax uh, Butterfree's gonna have is uh you're gonna have to try and like you you won't have access to like you know River Dance because it'll just be Max Protect. Which, it's just Protect, but, you know, um, it's just, it's basically Protect. So, you just don't have access to those almost moves. The setup, whereas, you do have access to, like, Max, G-Max, Bug Buzz. I don't know what the effect is that for, for some Pokemon. I'll have to check that out, but, you know. But, if you think about it, it does have some interesting ones, like, I think Scything uses like Special Attack. And you do have, like, other status options, like Sleep. If you could just take advantage of it like early on before you Dynamax, so yeah, um, you do have access to Dream Eater, I guess, if you want to be that you want to be that guy. So, but anyways, um, and Shadow Ball, so oh, uh, you do have access to U-Turn, so yeah. But even then, like uh, like I said, unless this thing gets some stat increases to abuse uh, the Dynamax, like I'm not so sure, and also it still has to deal with hazards, so. Even though Stealth Rocks would be semi-limited, uh, most Pokemon that can learn Stealth Rocks will probably be very viable for like being helped by uh, usage. So yeah, so like on a more on a double side, I think it will be more of a support Pokemon. I'm not so sure whether it will be like more of a you know a trickster like how Smeargle is, you know with like Fake Out, Follow Me, and then, like Spore or Back to Dead and like Dark Void. But Butterfree does have that potential be just as like you know, a good redirection on so anyways uh i guess that's all i have for these guys to talk about so hope you guys enjoyed this uh elongated video discussion and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time so peace